Oh, that trap is closed. I'm not sure if there's anything in it. Good morning, modern steaders. I hear the pigs. They hear us. Good morning, pigs. Are you sleeping inside last night because it rained out? Good morning. Let's see how the new boys are doing. Morning boys. You eating already? Doesn't look like you go in your bunk bed very much. I don't see any poop up there, Caleb. You haven't been pooping up there, so I know you're not going up there. The other goats love that bunk bed. You'll figure it out soon enough, huh? You hear the girls making noise now? Decided we need to put a gate right here. We got one for the electric netting. I got to install. Good morning, girls. birds chirping so that's a good sign I don't know if we got anything but I guess we'll find out in a few minutes let's check this trap while we're right over here nope nothing in that one it's still got the bait in it Oh, that trap is closed. I'm not sure if there's anything in it. Let's see. I don't think so. Nope. Huh. I wonder what happened there. The bait's still in it. I don't see any marks. Huh. I wonder how that one went off. Reset it. Whatever it was, they didn't get the bait if something went in there. So good, all four of you. That's a good sign. This way, guys. Morning, Moose. I don't think I've shown this to you guys yet. While we've been doing the barn build, we got about a year and a half worth of firewood dropped off. And over here, we have a pile of firewood left over from last year. And we still have some left over from the year before. We have about two years worth of firewood that we need to store. So all that to say, we need to start working on our woodshed. But I don't think today's the day for it yet, guys. We need to get some hay feeders finished built for the goats. It's supposed to start raining this afternoon and then for the next few days we're going to get rain. So I need to have hay feeders inside the barn when it's raining out for the goats. Oh, that lets the light in. So we were getting ready to build the barn. We put the road in and when we put the road in we had to take down our old 
firewood storage systems. That's why we need a new building for it this year. Yesterday, I made this hay feeder right here for the goats. And they're loving it so far. And when I made that, I made the tops, the bottom, and the slats for the indoor hay feeders. If you'd like to see how we made that, I'll put a link to that video right here. Everything's fine. I just drilled an extra hole for no reason. Okay. As long as I know it's working. Today is a two cup of coffee kind of day. Mmm. Delicious. Goats are pretty rough on things, so I want to glue it and screw it. A dollop, a little dollop of glue. Ooh, sorry for my singing. I know I'm not a professional, but I have a lot of fun anyways. Alrighty, here we go. Not sure what happened. The goats won't mind. I promise. There, that'll work. So I am going to slam out the next two and then I'll be back. Perfect. I like it. There we go. All three of them are made and put together. A filler piece for right here. Get it flushed up. Mark it here and we'll mark our angle. Trim up our angles. That. That's perfect. I like that just like that. Does it fit these other ones? It does, but it's just a smidge long. And right over here. Fits that size. Fits there. All right, and what about here? Perfect. All right. I feel like I got like a manufacturer implant here of goat hay features. <laughs> that one won't fit there. It's not perfect for that spot, which is fine. It'll fit in other areas better. So I want to find one that fits the best here. It's got to be one of these because I already, there it is. Like we fit one already. So I know there's one that fits. That one works perfect. I don't want it sticking past that top two by four. So I need to cut it back. Perfect. That's flush on that edge. And it's in just a tad on the bottom. It's got a 45 degree angle. Quarter. 
All right, before we fit it in the goat barn, let's fit it in this back corner. And that should get us pretty close. And it does. Awesome. Right, that should make one of them. How can we make another one? Pretty close. Let's see if we can get those to work. If we go there, yep. And then there. That'll fill in the majority of it. Awesome. So we need to get these attached. Like so. And like so. If we do a pocket hole screw and glue it, it'll be good. So we got to adjust our pocket hole to three quarters of an inch right there. This is to keep the hay from falling out. All right, so we need to custom fit one to go in this corner. And this corner does not have a post. We should go like so, and like so, and it should meet, and they do. Boom. down to seven and three eighths. should fit like so. So if I put a couple of pocket holes, say one, two, three. Put a lot of glue on it. Once that glue hardens up, there'll be like one solid board.
Then we can have a way to attach the bottom to the wall also. All right, let's get this set up. This is, let's get the height. 23, so if we mark 30, that'll give us a rough idea of where the height needs to be. 30. place to store their hay. We'll trick the goats with some fresh hay. We'll get them out to the feeder and then we'll lock them out. Look at all that fresh food. Try some. It's good for you. I'm telling you about a cup. You want to try it. Go for it. Come on out. Come over here. You too, Willow. They're like, you can't fool us. You want to lock us out of the barn. There. You girls can get back in a few minutes. I need a minute. Now we can get this stall set up. That should be perfect. They got their feeder, minerals, water. Let's get them some hay in each one of those feeders. I know, our hay's just kind of thrown around. We're still in the middle of the process of getting our barn set up, so it's going to take a little bit of time before we get everything figured out. It's one hay feeder. We never had these hay feeders in the other barn. Two. They're going to love that. I love it already. You like that feeder, don't you? What do you think, Hope? You love it, don't you? Yep. Now we need to make one more. This is gonna be a square one for the boys. We don't have a corner for it to go in. Boys enjoying the hay? Looks like it. There, now the boys will have a hay feeder we can put inside and keep hay in when it's raining out. What are you boys doing, huh? I'm gonna get you some hay right here. Ready? Come check out your new feeder. What do you think of that? Oh, you love it. You love it. Yeah. We need to come up a name for this boy. We're thinking Zeke, and this one is Caleb. Hey, you're going up on the bunk bed. You gonna go up there, Caleb? Yeah. Love your hairdo.
right, now let's see the leftover metal roof. I thought we'd make a roof to go over the outside hay feeder. Bits of the screws sticking out. What do you think? You like the roof? I need it now, though. I need it now. Watch out. I know, something for you to stand on. I think we're ready for the rain now. That'll shed water off there. You got hay inside to eat when it rains. You like your bunk beds? I see. Hey, hey. You like the bunk beds, don't you? You're making it nice and dirty in here. Yeah. Cool beans. And the pigs, here you coming. The uh, pigs are a muddy, muddy mess. They found some mud. Where'd you find all the mud? Huh? Oh, right there. You're letting the water run so you can make mud? They're smart. They are smart. You liking Goat Mountain there, Caleb? <laughs> you can walk right in. Yep, they're not locked. Oh, Mom locked them out. The yes. It was nap time? Oh, yesterday we came in. Hopefully it's sitting right here and the rest of us are sleeping over there. Do we wake you guys? Do you need water? A little bit. He drank a little bit of water. Okay. Oh, I don't think that one's had anything in it yet. Oh. We got baking soda and kelp. Mom had to, mom had to put more kelp in already. Oh, I have hay. You see the feeder? Yeah, I like it. Have you seen that feeder yet? Yeah, cause little Miss P was jumping in when it didn't have a cover on it. Of course she did. And that'll help keep the rain off and of it too. The, and then the baby, they can't fit through that? Uh, if they really want to, they can. But they really have to want to. Don't you get up there, Buttercup. I'll kick your butt. How many eggs you thinking today? Um, yesterday we got 13, so maybe like 15. 15? Nope, she's not broody. Eight. 
It sure is nice to have some indoor hay feeders now. We've never had those before. I shouldn't say we never did. I had a metal one that I had bought for when we first got the female goats last year. And I want to say it was a buttercup got her head stuck in it. Luckily, we heard some noise from up in the house. We ran down there and her head was stuck and she was hanging. I'm telling you, if we didn't get out there probably within the next few minutes, probably, I don't know, five, ten minutes, she probably would have died. So we took that hay feeder down. We've never had indoor feeders since. So... I'm glad we got some new ones made and I don't have to worry about the goats getting strangled or hurt in these feeders. And that's why I designed them this way. Last week I was talking about a free DIY homestead crash course video series that was out. That video series is done with, but now Justin Rhodes is launching his member website for fall registration. I've been signed up for his member website since he opened it. We put out, I think, two videos with him right from the beginning. And then I've been following along. He's got a really good, I think he's got over 200 how-to videos on the website. He's got a Facebook forum, which is really nice, going back and forth with different people from all over the world, seeing different struggles. But this year, we're going to be doing one video a month on that membership website with him. We're going to be doing a live Q&A video in October. And there's five other there's yeah there's five other youtubers that are going to be doing it too if you guys want to sign up for that i'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to go over and check it out the link is in the description down below there's recipes there's how to videos there's the facebook forum there's discounts for places like premier one for seed companies for tool companies they either give you like 10 percent discount or you get free shipping on or both on those so Go on over, check it out. If it's something you are thinking about or are thinking about, the registration is open for another seven days. And once the registration, once the sign up is done, it's going to be going up 15% after that. So now's a great opportunity to sign up before the prices go up. We've been really enjoying it. My favorite part is the Facebook forum. So if you guys sign up for it, let me know what your favorite part is. We're going to be active on the Facebook forum this year. So I'm looking forward to that. It is an affiliate link, so if you guys become a member, we will be getting a percentage of the membership fee. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and supporting us. You've been a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.